Marty, Tony Armstrong. Yes. Yes. Hey. We were just reminiscing over the last time we... In fact, the first time I met you and the last time we mm. saw each other, we were at the same restaurant in Sydney. Yeah, we were. And... Um, I mean, I could remember the name of it, but you definitely couldn't. No. <laughs> no, no Maybe in the middle could. of a pretty heavy touring schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one day turns into the next. It I, really does. I get it. And the Negronis on that tour are just ridiculous. Mm, Never mm, they're, they're 60 mil shots oh. instead of the 30. I do love <laughs> a Negroni, though. Um, what a great digestive. You, yeah, thank you. Finally some sense. <laughs> It helps dinner go down. Um, <laughs> you're I all, it was dinner. It is for me. <laughs> you're always busy. Um, before we get to what you're doing, let's just mm. walk through the Tony Armstrong story for people oh, who God. may or may not know. Uh, grew up in rural New South Wales. Uh, how am I saying your Indigenous country? Gamala, ga- so close. Gamilaroi. Gamilaroi. Yeah. So that. So if you were to envision northwestern New South Wales, sort of where Brewarrina is, uh, and maybe Burke, if that if that helps. That little, helps. If that if that helps a little bit more, Brewarrina is where the fish traps are. If you guys are aware, oh the rock ones, the rock fish traps, which are like oh. um, I think I think they might be the oldest bit of um, I guess. It's almost like farming, right? Like, yeah. like, like they, it's 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 the oldest bit of tech of tech in the world for farming. They'd have wow. to be UNESCO or some yeah, of, yeah, something no, like that. Like, now, it's it's like forty thousand years or something Crazy. like that old. That's that's um, part of Gamilaroi, Gamilaroi country. So and so you grew up there? No, no, no. So so I didn't. I didn't grow up there. I grew up in um, southern New, New South Wales, just out of Albury. Nice. In a little town called uh, Brocklesby, yeah. um, which is where the famous. Justin Kaczynski's from. Ah. Okay. Um, and it was truly a town so small. You know, they say blink and you miss it, but it's yeah. like, it, there's like 20,000 people that live in the town. <laughs> yeah. Mum and I drove through the town and we were like, oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, like, like, we legit drove through. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, a town so small that time we drove straight through it. And then, yeah, went to Assumption College and then. Had uh, and then had a fledgling AFL career. Thirty-five of the most mediocre, forgettable games. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five more than me, Tony. Hey, hey! Look, someone's someone someone's got a list clog, and it may as well be me. <laughs> we <laughs> saw young <laughs> young Logan Morris up at the Lions had two games in the one day, and we were trying to think. That's were old you, news, mate. Were you the last player to do that before him? I mean, I don't like to. I don't like to have. Well, I don't like to admit that I was keeping tabs on who the last person was. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was me. It's about the last thing that I could hang my hat on from an AFL perspective. Yeah. But he went soft on his Macca's order, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, he didn't He didn't load up enough. But good on him. I know what that's like. But unlike the game I played, which was ironically against the Lions, they had a huge win. So he got, right. a, he got a lick of the ice cream. Yeah. We, we, we were playing the Lions in 2014 and I was like, I'm going to come on here. Mm. You know, the Lions suck. Mm. <laughs> Saturday night, mm. get a lick of the ice cream. Monday morning's papers. Wow, Tony Armstrong, hero. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, we got we got smashed, and yeah. uh, and um, yeah, don't worry. I'll let everyone throughout the week know just just how tough I was. Yeah. Proudly Indigenous, very uh, much, of so. course. Mm. Um, did you grow up in that sort of Indigenous culture, or is it something that you sort of? Discovered yourself or came to later in life? Didn't didn't grow up in it, but very hard to avoid it when you look the way I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, certainly you're going to be reminded. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I guess it was one of those things. It's it's interesting, Marty. Like you, when you grow up looking how I do without the culture, um, that's, well, sorry, w- without the knowledge of the culture, you end up in some tricky situations because you know what kids are like. They'll just mm. ask a question. Mm. You know? And like without kind of realising that, oh, maybe – Maybe Tony is a little bit embarrassed about not knowing. Um, yeah, right. Mm. It's misinterpreted. Well, well, well. You end up, um, you end up like, well, at least in my case, making things up because you're embarrassed. Mm. Uh, because I was intensely proud, but I didn't know. You know, I mean, we're all trying to work out who we are, of course, uh, and and we're all on that journey. Um, uh, but yeah, so it was tricky as a kid. But then I must admit, playing playing footy at a high level really helped because. There's a over representation um, of black fellas within, uh, I guess, the AFL community, and I was lucky enough to get drafted to the Crows, and we had two leaders um, there in Andrew McLeod and Graham Johncock, mm. who are both intensely strong uh, um, and super connected, and 
they just help me, um, I guess, learn about Indigenous culture. And then sort of as I've, as I've gotten older, I've, you know, really, really sorted out um, because if I'm lucky enough to have kids, I don't want them to be in a situation where they have to make make stories up because they're embarrassed or or feel a sense of shame for not knowing who they are. Mm. Um, so yeah, um, it's hugely important. And and you know, uh, I guess I'm also realizing, you know, being sort of visibly in I guess a media space and a public space. Um, indigenous is really important too, particularly when we're very underrepresented yeah. in, in these spaces. So yeah. yeah, just super, super proud. And, you know, um, I wonder why it's never been the same for white people. I wonder why I don't walk around saying I'm a product of the Shoal Haven and understand the history of the area and, you know, have you're not a defined deeper... as being white. Mm, yeah. Good tone. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good like, answer. Like mm. I would, I would say that, yeah, people, people would look at me and you, you know, like for instance, when, when I, when I first, um, commentated on Triple M, uh, when I, when I, when I debuted there, um, it would have been awesome to just debut as Tony Armstrong. Yeah. You know, so like, you, you don't get that. So like you carry with you, I guess that extra defining characteristic, which mm. is something I'm very proud of, but mm. then it there, I guess part of that means that I'm always looked at through that lens. But you mm. must have looked at me and thought, this kid's from Nowra. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Wollongong. Yeah, <laughs> so close, Tom. A lot of guys do that. <laughs> Having a little break from ABC Breakfast. I'm not sure for how long, Tony. Uh, I'll be back. Uh, um, what's the next month? Uh, Mid-June. Mid-June. Okay. No, yes. not long. And, yeah, no, no, and, not and long. I think the ABC does that well, sort of seemingly rotating some people in and out just to give them a little bit of time from those horrendous hours. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, we know, yeah, we all know what it's like getting up early, trying to, trying to put a show on, but I, but I suppose what is good and um, with the ABC is, um, you kind of forget just how many different forms of media it puts out. You know, we were, we were just talking about the immediacy of what we do, mm. either the TV version of this mm. or the radio version of this. It's like, it's bang. immediate. Bang. It's out. You've done it. Uh, but then, you know, going away and shooting a show, which I'm away doing now, top secret though, can't tell you, but how's that for a forward sizzle? <laughs> Good. Um, Good sizzle. Um, you know, this will come out next year, yeah. which was like the show that, that we're, we're about to talking talk about, about today, yeah. uh, which is Extraordinary Things, which looks beautiful. Um, it's premiering Tuesday, 21st. So yeah, that's next week. Next mm -hmm. week mm. on the ABC, 8 p.m., all episodes available to stream on iView, which is mm. hugely successful for the ABC because people want to watch stuff on demand now. They don't. The idea of destination TV and stuff. I reckon the last one I remember of that was Game of Thrones. Mm. Yep. Remember mm. when it was coming? St they persisted with the weekly. And, and wasn't it good? That they did that. I think. I think another one that did that really well was Succession. They only yeah. dropped. It, they, they only released it once a week. Yeah. But so so now I think the only the only destination. Sorry, not destination. Um, what do you call it? Uh, appointment TV mm. is sport. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. sport mm -hmm. is live, and if you miss it live, you find out what the score was because your annoying friend mm. tells you your team lost. Um. <laughs> well, we were talking about this the other day. Um, that people with Free to air as their only provider, miss so much sport. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's so it's much. So fragmented, isn't it? Uh, as yeah. well. Yeah. But, but that's True. how we all grew up. Remember, you'd have a Saturday game of footy, and then a rugby league game mm. on, on about three o'clock on a Sunday. Mm. Yeah, and that was it. Very, very, very different now. And even trying to find, excuse me, trying to find some sports like you can see why some of, I guess the the more fringe. Um, I just had a Tim Tam in the yeah, break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a no, no, I, had a, I had a Tim Tam in the break, and it's killing me. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and like you can see why some of the fringe sports in Australia are struggling because they get lost somewhere on a subscription service with like yeah. an extra premium. Yeah, like Stan Sport Ex with the uh, Super Rugby. Like who, oh, that who, was the exact. Who is doing that? I mean, and Super and who, Rugby's in enough trouble and who, without hiding it behind another paywall. And who's got the cat? Well, like, mm. who, who's got the cat? Like, if you're going to choose between that and, I don't know, let's say AFL, mm. not that AFL's as hard to get to, mm. you, you're probably going to choose AFL because you're like the majority of Australia. Yeah, yeah exactly. Or you're going to get a multiverse platform like KO. 
Yep. Yeah. Still annoyed with KO and just the streaming. It's the, the most. Yeah, it's the no. most unusable. Oh. User screen. <laughs> but, <laughs> but really good people, Tony. Yeah, I love the people. people. <laughs> no, 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 no. Friends of the show. I'm Have you joking. ever tried to navigate through that thing? <laughs> no. Uh, just, I'm like ABC. I view. No, I've yeah. 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 right. never been a problem with that. Never made a problem with IBU. So let's talk about extraordinary things. Uh, Travelling around Australia and finding mm. literally extraordinary things. Yeah, well, I think um, what was what was the genesis of this show, we we kind of we kind of dreamt it up when uh, Australia had just been on fire. We were in the like Black Lives Matter was in a fever pitch, and we were in and we just um, headed into you know a few years of dread with COVID. Mm. And I remember we were, I was talking uh, with with some people I'm like, geez, we're actually it's actually not a bad joint, Australia, but we're all just so angry at each other, right? Yeah, Queensland hospitals for Queensland, all of that, <laughs> like, yes. all of that kind of stuff. We're mm. like, far out, like like you know, let's let's try to find something that actually celebrates the the cultural fabric of Australia in a positive light. And what extraordinary things does, I think, you know, we work so hard on it. I think we nailed it. We actually, like the, the extraordinary things don't actually have to be a harbour bridge mm. or, you know, the opera house or the G. It doesn't have to be something like that. But mm. what it can be is something that unlocks an amazing story, extraordinary stories. Mm. And that's what this show is actually all about. Um, it's about the cultural fabric of Australia. And I reckon, and, and so something I learned out of, out of the show was everyone actually has a thread which which um, connects with the cultural fabric of Australia. And that's what their extraordinary thing is. Yeah. Everyone contributes to the culture po- um, uh, and that's what their extraordinary thing is. So to go around Australia and talk to these people of all, all walks of life was awesome. I learned so much about people. Um, it made me more curious than, uh, what was it made me as curious as I thought I was. Mm. Uh, going into it, I thought I was a super curious person. Mm. Coming out of it, I was like, oh, yeah, now I'm actually who I thought I was. It affirmed it. Exactly. Mm. And, yeah, the pe- like just the people who entrusted us with something that they love were, were amazing. And hopefully people see that we, re- we respected that properly and we um, respected their stories. Beautifully nice. said, nice. Tane. Um, mate, life rolls on as it always does. We look forward to this uh, premiering on uh, the 21st. 21st of May, yeah. And we look forward to your return to ABC News Breakfast and hopefully you can swing in again with something else to flog. Uh, <laughs> and have another tin tab. I was actually just going to go us. home and see if uh, KO stream in the NBA finals. <laughs> 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 they will be. Yeah, we'll see if I can find it. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Tony. Tony Armstrong on Triple M. <laughs>